So hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can add the Google sign-in feature to your store. Without adding any app, because Shopify has now provided this as a built-in feature, allowing you to let your customers log in using Google. You can add Google sign-in to your store. So guys, how can you add this feature to your store? I'll explain that in this video. To access this feature, first, you'll see an option for settings on the left side. When you click on settings, the settings page will open. Here, you'll see an option for customer accounts. When you click on customer accounts, you'll see the types of customer accounts. You'll find an option for authentication. As soon as you click on it, you'll see Google and Facebook options appear. You can click on connect for whichever one you want to add. Let's connect with Google. When you click on connect for Google, you'll see several URLs which vary for each website. We've hidden them for now. These will be the URLs for your website. I'll explain what to do with these URLs further in this video. So guys, after connecting, the first thing you need to do is open a new tab and search for Google Console. When you search for Google Console, you'll find a platform called Google Cloud Console. Open it. If you already have an account here, you can use that account. If you don't have an account, create one first. We already have an account created, so we'll use that. So guys, let's first talk about what the Google Cloud Console is. If you don't know, let me explain. Google Cloud Console is a dashboard. It provides an interface where you can manage all of Google's resources or services. You can create new projects, manage APIs, and handle them. So, we can use the Google Cloud Console for all these tasks. So guys, since we want to enable Google sign-in, let's focus on that. As soon as you create your account, you'll see a dashboard. Here, you'll see an option for quick access APIs and services. You can see it on my screen. You simply need to click on the quick access button for APIs and services. When you click on APIs and services, you'll get a dashboard like this. The first step is to create a new project. To create a new project, you'll see an option in the top corner where all your projects are listed. When you click on it, you'll get the option to add a new project. Click on New Project and you'll need to enter a name for your project. In my case, I'll name it Let's Debug. So guys, this is how you enter your project name and create it. Once your project is created, you need to open it. To open your project, you'll see your project name next to the Google Cloud logo. If you haven't created one, when you click there, all your projects will be displayed. Open the project you created and you'll see an interface like this. Once you've opened your project, you'll see an interface like this. After that, what do you need to do? You need to go back and click on APIs and services. Then, you need to go to the OAuth consent screen. You'll see an option for OAuth consent screen on the left side. When you click on it, this dashboard will open. You'll see a Get Started button. Click on Get Started and it will ask for some information. You need to fill in all this information. In my case, I'll fill in all the information. So guys, fill in the details exactly as I've done. You can enter your email address in the email field. In the app name field, you can enter the name you want for your app. Once you've filled in all these details, simply click next and then finish to create it. Your app will be created and you'll see an interface like this with some options. After that, you need to click on Create OAuth Client. Then, you need to choose the application type. Select Web Application as the application type. 
change the name to match the project name you chose earlier. After that, you'll have the option to add some URLs, URI1 and add URI. You'll see it says Authorized JavaScript Origins. These URLs were provided in your Shopify admin when you connected earlier, as I mentioned I'd explain later. If you check, you'll find your URLs there, Authorized Redirect URLs, Authorized JavaScript Origins, and each URL. Copy and add all of them directly. I'll add them one by one here. So, first, I'm adding the authorized JavaScript origins. I'll add all three URLs for the origins. After that, what do you need to do? You need to add the next URLs, which are the authorized redirect URLs. You need to add all three of these URLs as well. So guys, once you've added all six URLs, you need to create it. When you create it, you'll receive a client ID. Always save this client ID. You can also download it if you want. When you click on your app, you'll see the client ID. If you look at the top on the right side, you'll see the client ID, and at the bottom, you'll see the client secret. Copy the client ID from here. Then, go back to your Shopify admin where you saw the URLs earlier you'll find an option for client ID. Add your client ID there. Similarly, you can copy the client secret and add it as well. Once you've added both the client ID and client secret, simply save it. After saving, you'll see a turn on option. Click the turn on button and the Google sign-in service will be enabled on your store. Now, when you preview your store and try to log in, I'll preview my store from here. When I click on the sign in or login icon, you can see the Google sign in option has appeared. The continue with Google option is now available. When you click on it, it will redirect to your Google account. Once you log in, your account will be logged in. Click continue and your store's front end will open. Your store is now open. So guys, this is how you can add Google sign into your store. That's all for today's video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.